All right, guys, moving on to our next Patreon request day. And this one comes from uh, Brittany Digger, who asked me to do a Assassin's Creed Amphibia crossover. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. But actually, before we do, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below in the description box and uh, hit, the uh, hit the third tier. That'll allow you access to all the stuff on Patreon, as well as send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, hope you all enjoy this, and let's get started with the video. So, this... Um, this story takes place in season three, like somewhere in see in season three where Anne and the planters are on Earth. And essentially what's going on is that Anne is called in by Mr. X, who's essentially who basically is like, hey, Anne, I'm going to need you to like come in alone. Um, I'm going to need you to like uh, just come in because there's something I know where we have our differences, but like there's something I need you to see and understand why I do what I do. So, if you could come in tonight, if you could come in, like, tonight by yourself, that'd be cool. And Anne's like, this is really skeezy, but, um, what else, ch what choice do I have? So she comes in, and Mr. X is like, listen, so I need you to understand why the Calamity Box, ha um, I've told, like, we basically told you before that, like, the Calamity Box has been seen on Earth a few times before, right? And she's like, yeah. Well, what if I told you, like, there have been records of this thing showing up multiple times, and there's a, re there's, um, there's, like, a way we can prove, like, the first time, um, Uh, the first, like the first time in record in recorded history, we've seen um, the calamity box, and there, it's kind of important that you see this. So he takes her into this room, and X reveals this uh, machine, this uh, this machine, this uh, this uh, machine, and she's like, "Well, what is this?" And it's like, it's called the Animus. Um, it's basically allows someone to tap into their into a uh, genetic um, ancestry. Think of it like 23andMe, but you can actually, like, interact interact with, um, uh, sorry, it's, I'm really tired. It's, I've done, like, videos, like, constantly, and I've done other stuff today, and I, and I really need to get some sleep. Um, anyway, so yeah, she, he, t he basically explains what the Animus is, and is like, and Anne's like, where did you get this thing? And he's like, not important. And it's best you don't know where exactly I got this. All you need to know is that I need you to, like, plug into this and it'll show... I think it'll show you some enlightening shit. So Anne's like, all right, fine. So she plugs her... You know, she basically jacks in and her mind is, like, taken thousands of years in the past. All the way back to the Byzantine Empire. Um where her body connects with an ancestor of hers known, uh, named Sadira. And Sadira, and I know what you're thinking, wait, isn't Anne Filipino? Like, uh, isn't she Filipino? Well, that's true, but, like, it kind of showcases that, like, an, uh, like mo with, most, uh, with a lot of ancestry, your ties can be all over the world. So, and Anne in her head is like, holy crap! I didn't know I had, like, my bloodline, I th always thought it was, like, one, I always thought it was just only in the from the Philippines. Holy crap, I've, uh, I, I've got parts of my family I didn't even know about. Um, so, Anne's a little shocked by this, but in Sadira's body, she just, uh, like, she basically learns that she's, uh, Sadira was an assassin. She was part of the, of the creed, and... With that, they have basically, like, this is the um, the Byzantine Empire, this is the height of it. This is basically, Rome is gone, and the Byzantine Empire, for, uh, here's some, uh, nerdy, uh, history facts. The Byzantine Empire was part of the Roman Empire. It was, um, a piece of the Roman Empire, but it basically, like, they, it got so big, they broke off and called themselves the Byzantine Empire. While Rome fell apart... Uh, the Byzantine Empire went on for a good more several more hundred years. So in here, Sadira is um, Anne's ancestor, 
ancestor. Get it? Yeah, funny. Uh, and what happens is Sadira is on this mission to recover something from the Templars. And the Templars are what they're after is the Calamity Box. Yes, this is man this is the first recorded hist time in history mankind encountered the Calamity Box. Now, I'm not saying like this is another piece of Eden like the other weapons from it, but this is something that the Templars are like, yeah, we know this is like unknown technology and can give us great power. All we know, but it can also bring great calamity. Either way, we're taking this shit for ourselves. So Sidira has been given the task of finding and recovering the calamity box um, before the Templars can find it. And But however, the box has lost all of its jewels, and the three jewels are being held by three different Templar. So... Sidira, uh, so Anne follows through Sidira's body um, the missions that Sidira went on in order to recover the, biz uh, the, um, the three Calamity Gems and actually discovers that one of the uh, Templars is, is Sasha's descendant. One of the, uh, yeah, one of the Templars is one of uh, theirs because he, uh, he goes by this name. He's from, Brit uh, he's from uh, England and he's known as Lord Waybright. And Lord w Waybright has, of course, the red, uh, the uh, red calamity gem. Now, does Marcy's uh, ancestor play into this? Yes, Marcy, uh, Marcy's um, ancestor in this story is actually another assassin. And in here, that assassin is more like a archivist. She's she doesn't. Uh, uh, her name is uh, Ta Min, and Ta Min was more of an archivist for the Creed and is the one who has been recording everything, all the pieces of Eden. And she's convinced that the Calamity Box, isn't, while it isn't a piece of Eden, it is important. So it is vital they do get the Calamity, each of the Calamity Stones. But it's very clear that, like, the more they collect them, the more the Creed realizes how dangerous this could be. Just like the, the uh, piece of Eden that uh, Altair collected decades ago, you know, it... Well, will one day collect, excuse me, different timeline, you know, different part of time. But they do realize, hey, this shit is going to be, is going to be pretty bad. And Sidira, after doing battle with Lord Waybright, um, she basically gives him mercy because even Lord Waybright's like, I didn't want to, I didn't want the thing to give it to the Templars. It, I was trying to hide it. I understood this thing. It's called the Calamity Box for a reason. It's going to cause great calamity. So, how about we, you know, how about we work together here? So, Sadira, Tamin, and Lord Waybright, the three of them actually gather the stones together and hide it. Like, they essentially just hide it out in the far ocean. So, by the end of it, um, Anne is pulled out of the Animus, and um, she's like, so why did you want me to, why did, why did you want me to show me that? And, he's, uh, and Mr. X is like, look, there, there is a lot of stuff in that... There's a lot of power in that box. And it even scared both the Assassins and the Templars. And she's like, yeah, about that. There, so you're telling me there's a secret war between the Knights Templar and the uh, these Assassins? Should we be looking into that? And he's like, no, you should not. <laughs> that, it, like, I'm only... they it, Like, to give you a perspective, I'm on loan with that machine. So don't be asking to jack into that thing again. So Anne is uh, left with going, realizing how deep this goes and how much the connections between her friends are, like how deep her uh, the connection with her friends are as well. So there you go, guys. That is the uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Amphibia crossover. I'd like to thank Brittany for this uh, Patreon request and continued patronage. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.